Welcome to One Minute Kizkit, where every week we answer your questions and share Kizkit tips and tricks. This week, the question is... What is the Q-Sphere? There are different ways to represent quantum states visually. The Block Sphere is a popular way to visualise separable qubit states, and we can do this easily using Qiskit's Plot Block Multivector. But the Block Sphere cannot represent general multiqubit states. Let's see what happens when we entangle our qubits. We can see the block displays have given up. Since our qubits are not separable, we cannot display them on separate block spheres. For multiqubit states, we need different visualization tools. Qiskit provides the function plot state qsphere to plot multiqubit states on a qsphere. The qsphere displays the amplitudes of each computational basis state. Amplitudes are complex numbers, and the size of the blob represents the magnitude of that complex number. Here, the blob at the top represents the state 00, zero and the blob at the bottom represents the state 11. One, one. We can see they have equal magnitudes. Let's modify our circuit a bit. We can now see the states 01 and 10 appearing. For general qubit states, the polar angle of the blob is proportional to its Hamming distance from the all zero state, with the all one states at the bottom. We can also now see that colour represents the phase of the state, with the state 11 having a phase of pi. The Q-sphere offers a complete visualisation of multi-qubit states. If you have a question you want answered, then please leave it in the comments. And if you found this video useful, you can subscribe for more 1 Minute Kiskit every Monday, as well as other Quantum and Kiskit related videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.